Do you have any favorites? Sure. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> And he wants to have the best. The best originals make the best restored. I remember he started off with just one car. Remember the second one he got was a Model A or T. Then all of a sudden it went a little crazy. It's very much an addiction. He's probably the only person that's going to close to 90 that gets out in the tractor in 100 degree heat and goes and plows with no air conditioning. If I could still jump in a tractor at his age, I will be a happy person. First anybody heard of George is when he bought the Pioneer tractor back in the early 80s for give like $50,000 for everybody thought that was unreal. George was definitely the guy that was like, I'm gonna win that tractor. It's not very often he comes home with an empty trailer. Yeah. I'm not a hoarder, though. The rarer the tractor, the better. Just preserving history is what it is through tractors. I would say it's probably some of the best restored stuff there is around. George was one of the first people who really raised the bar on tractor restoration. He loves to take them to the shows, run them, plow with them, thrash with them. Yeah, he likes them looking good, too, but he likes them to work. He says, you know, if it breaks, you fix it. It's different when it comes to life, when you get to see it in front of you. He brings rare and unique tractors that you normally don't see at shows. What I think is kind of really cool about it is when I see others that look at what he has. I'm a kid in a candy store. I'm dreaming about George's tractors, so <laughs> for what it's worth. <laughs> If you come here and look at this stuff, it speaks for itself. You can't pick one favorite out of a collection like this. You, you just can't. And any collector would love to have any of them. Right now, the tractor market is fairly strong, so we're very anxious to see what, what these tractors are going to bring, because these are the best of the best. Join us for the premiere of the George and June Shaft Tractor and Truck Museum documentary, Saturday, September 3rd at 10.30 a.m. Central on RFD-TV.